Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am back with another part of my sticker collection and organization series. Um, this one will be a little bit different because I'm also going to mix in the organization part of um, yeah of a new completely empty sorry for the shake um, empty sticker album that I have shown you in my June haul, I think. Yeah, it was June. So um, let's start with the first two albums here. So um, this part, as you can see by the title, is all about the Hobonichi uh, sticker kits I have. Hobonichi Weeks and Hobonichi Cousin. I am currently only in a Hobonichi Cousin, a five size for my weekly planning. I do still have a Hobonichi Weeks, but this is only for journaling. So... Yeah, we will start with the week's size kits first. So let me move these ones here to the side. And then, um, so for kits, I mostly like to use those kind of album sticker albums um, to organize my kits. I do have a big binder for my vertical sticker kits that I have shown you already in the last part of this uh, series so for the week's kits um, you are able to get those week's sized um, albums a lot of different shops do carry those um, those two albums are no longer available unfortunately this one is from my dear friend La Petite Paula shop and this one is from Lily and Lion Co which is um, unfortunately closed so but there are a lot of different other shops that are uh, selling those size sticker kits and I will leave a link or some links to other shops down below um, so those are specifically sized to fit the Hobonichi Weeks size um, sticker kits and then I also have this a huge um, is it a 4 by 6 I think a sticker album that will fit the bigger size kits but still for Hobonichi um, as you can see um, there are a few 4x6 or yeah sized uh, sticker kits that won't fit in the narrow albums here um, I will show you those uh, later we will start with uh, this album and um, I have this album dedicated to uh, only sticker kits from La Petite Paula shop and this one is only dedicated to the stickers from Seaside Stickers which unfortunately doesn't exist or she doesn't make any stickers um, anymore but I truly love both shops um, you can still order from La Petite Paula shop and I have um, two big orders coming from her probably end of August so those will be available in our you can see those in my September haul all right I, I have the feeling I'm rambling too much but uh, without further ado let's start so I put a little pocket here in the front cover on the uh, left side to put my freebies from her inside and I also was a PR for her shop last year so I have a little bit more stickers <laughs> Than I would normally have from other shops but I love a shop and uh, yeah so I will just go ahead and flip through the kits um, so the way I organize my kits mostly um, and I've also talked about that in my last uh, kit organization is I have the main kit here and then I also try to keep every other you know accessories extra sticker sheets that might go well with this kit um together with the kit so that i know i can or i want to use those together so for example this is the coffee um sticker kit and i do have from seaset stickers some foiled overlays with some coffee design so i thought okay this goes perfectly with this kit and this is also size for opening two weeks so you know that's just matching and then I have two of the extra sheets in here for this kit so those will always go together in one of those sleeves 
uh then we have a gorgeous and those kits i think i think are all still available so go ahead and check her shop out if you're interested in any of these we have the swan lake kit with some extra um boxes and then the deco sheet which i will always keep with the kit then we have the pride and prejudice kit which i adore and i'm hoarding it <laughs> and then i also put in some leftover foiled overlays because i thought those go well with the kit we have a self-care kit which is cute and then we have the uh journey to the past or the anastasia kit um which i also am absolutely obsessed with and i just managed to um or she was so kind and uh did this kit and also the Pride and Prejudice one um, is now available as a Bonichi cousin as well in her shop. And I'm so excited for those. They will arrive soon. Then we have a spring kit. This is a Sakura inspired kit. This is more of a summer themed kit. This one as well. I love those. This is a monthly um, Hobonichi Weeks kit for August. The weekly kit matching to it. We have a planner life kit, I would say. Ah, oh, this is Kiss the Frog. Gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to ask her if she could make this in a cousin kit. Okay, next time. <laughs> and then we have the fall and winter kits. This is, yeah, pumpkins. Oh, and this one is the craft, which is not perfectly organized this way. And this is... This movie is now available on Netflix, so I also asked her to make this into a Homonichi cousin kit, which she, she did because she's awesome. So this will be coming soon with some deco and extra boxes. And then we have a uh, beauty kit here. Oh, I used this for... Yeah, okay. So I thought I will use this for my birthday or something. So I have some balloons or party stickers in here as well. And then we have a Christmas kit where, where I also put in some extra foiled icons to use uh, those together. So they will go in here. Um, and this is actually, um, she changed or she added an extra sheet to her kits last year. And this is the full page deco sheet for the right side of the Obonichi weeks. Um, so you can just paste in that full box, basically the whole page full box and have it and it's done. You know, you don't have to, if you don't have a lot to write in, um, you can just use this sticker to cover up this, uh, the page with some cute habit trackers on the bottom um i have used this kit for christmas last year but um i i think i didn't need to use the cover up page so i will keep those of course um because you never know and you can also use this um while journaling or stuff like that so yeah uh another christmas kit from her more christmas and then I still have some empty pages in here. And that's already everything I have left from La Petite Paula shop when I was in my weeks last year. And then we will just quickly flip through the seaside stickers. As you can see, I also has been a PR good for her shop. So I accumulated a bunch of stickers. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to have those all together because I love them and... Because she no longer makes those kits, um, I can't use them, <laughs> you know. Um, I have to hoard them. They're like, yeah, they're special to me. So we have some simple ones here in the front. And I had to put these back to back because I ran out of space. Um, again, I put matching deco with them. We have all Harry Potter kits. Um, those are, is her was her former character we have some foiled kids here mm. oh my gosh yeah i love those 
I just love those kits with some single page sticker kits here. Ugh, and they are foiled. I love them so much. Oh my god, I love this kit, especially this one. The strokes here. Then we have a Sailor Moon inspired kit, more Sailor Moon. And then I again I put some more icons with this one. We have this kit. Oh, the black and white is so nice. I love that. And then we have uh, more Halloween stuff here. So I put some more icon samplers with that kit because the colors are matching. Four kits here, Black Friday, some single colored kits, Christmas. Oh, yeah, as you can see, I went nuts. And this was a her, uh, this was a box, a Christmas box that she made. Oh, I got this twice, so probably I could use that someday. Oh no, those are different colorways. Okay, never mind. We have some butterflies. And then we have more kits from her. And then we have some extra functional little Hobonichi Weeks boxes in here. So that's my little treasure Hobonichi Weeks album that I will... Yeah, keep forever. <laughs> All right, next up is uh, this huge um, bad boy. And as you can see, this is filled to the brim as well. And the way this is, um, I started to put in all the other Holy Chi Weeks kits from other shops in here. And then as soon as I switched to Obonichi Cousin, um, you know, I had to put those in here as well, or I was going to, so... But then I realized, oh shit, I'm running out of space again. So that's why I had to buy another album, um, which I will show you later, which I will be only using for Hobonichi Cousin Kids, and we will do that soon. So we will start with um, the week's kids here in the front. Those are This is from Niedlich Designs, which is um, a shop in Austria. Then we have Elizabeth Plants, which no longer makes Weeks kits, I think. Hello Papers Co., which is um, on vacation, unfortunately. This shop no longer exists, I'm sorry. <laughs> Little Friendly Designs doesn't make Weeks kits anymore, but she does make some great one-page single kits, which are amazing. Um, oh, yeah, I love this kit. And then we have Miku Design, which is now Christina Yenne. Uh, wait a second. Where are the kids from her shop? Uh, wait a second, wait a second. I just got it. Uh, yeah, there, he, there she is. Christina Yenne Art and Design. So she rebranded recently and she still makes Wix kits. And I was a PR girl for her as well. She is a German shop owner. And uh, yeah, I love her kits. That's why I have so many. Then we have Ellie Cat's shop, a Canadian shop here. Strawberry Lime Design, which doesn't make Weeks kits anymore, I think. Then we have Lily and Lion, which is close. The Graceful Planner. Marina Bering Designs, which also rebranded. I don't know her new name right now. This is the planning diary, another true friend of mine. She's also a German shop owner, so she still makes those mix kits. Love those. And this is a Ariana Grande kit. Ooh. We have uh, the GP Studio. Then we have um, Happy Honeybee. I think she still makes stickers. Then we have Stationery Wonderland. Those were from my sub last year. And then we have Be Happy Plants, which is currently on vacation. But yeah, her kids are amazing. I love those. I also PR'd for her shop for a long time. Um, but she will be back soon from summer break, I think. Those are all from her. Ugh, I love her style. It's so good. And we have Nux Papers, which is currently closed as well. I'm sorry. So we have some weeks kits from 
thumb and as you can see I had to put these in double sided as well because again I was running out of space and as soon as I had to put in the cousin kits as well um, yeah it's difficult so as you can see this is all filled with weeks kits and then we have this one here filled with cousin kits so we have um, formerly Miyu design Hobuchi cousin kit this one is with her new branding we have raspberry designs dot Come again from her Florina Papery, which I'm currently PR for. Um, my code is in the description box. We have La Pripola Shop again, she also does weeks kits, as I mentioned. Silent Beauty Blends, gorgeous kits, all Harry Potter themed, and some generic kits. You know, Ugh, I just love that. This one is Poison's Master Kit, that's so gorgeous. Um, I'm keeping that for October, I think. And then we have some micro kits or one page kits. Um, this is from Plush Paperies. I think they were um, yeah, discontinuing uh, those these uh, size kits. So I just went ahead and grabbed a few. And you can totally use these in a weeks or in a cousin. I did both. So yeah, that's why those are in here. Gorgeous. Then I have an Harriet Wright Designs kit, which is not a Weeks and not a uh, Cousin kit, but... Uh, okay, let me pull that out of here. So, um, I got the Weeks kit from this artwork, and it's lovely, super lovely. And then I decided I, get, um, I want to get the full-size um, boxes as well, so either I will use this in my Weeks, and or this is my cousin or I mix it or whatever um, so I keep those together in here and this is the Moonchild kit but I think it's also discontinued um, we have some one page kits from the planner face those are still available and those are the one page kits from Little Friendly Design that I was talking about. Gorgeous kits. I've also used these in my cousin as well, so perfectly working there. Um, more plush paperies, uh, more raspberry designs. Those are PP Weeks kits from La Petite Potter Shop. Those are discontinued. Um, but I figured I could use these either in my cousin. Or, yeah, just in another planner. But this is the Kiss the Frog. And then we have the planner and August kit. Those are Hobonichi sized kits. Uh, Hobonichi cousin sized kits from Paula. Uh, this one as well. Christmas, uh, winter, fall, fall, leopard, October kit with the monthly. Um, which I'm hoarding for October this year. Now we have Knox papers. Those are Hobonichi. That's wrong. Those are Happy Planner mini size kits. And with the Happy Planner mini size kits, um, the boxes are so narrow they will fit in the cousin, which is fantastic. And you can just tweak those date covers to make it fit. So I decided to get a few of her Happy Planner mini kits back then. Um, so I could use those in my cousin. This is a Christmas kit. And her paper saturation is uh, gorgeous. The color saturation and the paper quality. We have Sweater Weather, Fall Aesthetics, Princess Celeste, Namaste Christmas Eve, and the Ice Queen. We have Stationery Wonderland again. Oh, gorgeous kits. My Limit is Me, which is a shop from Norway, I think. Um, and the rest is random stickers. We have some samplers here that I figured I could use in my cousin as well. We have some, yeah, notes page cover-ups for the weeks. More weeks sticker. A weeks monthly. More weeks sticker. And then we do have some special stickers here. Those are... 
collection kits from Christina Art, Christina Jena Art and Design. And um, those are gorgeous. So as you can see, I cut those down here to make them fit for the cousin. Um, I cut those sometimes. So yeah, um, those are amazing. You can use these in any kind of planner, in my opinion. Use it for journaling, for the cousin, for the weeks. And you can stretch those like I would I would say for a month. <laughs> so yeah, if you're a white space planner. And then we have some date cover-up stickers, uh, day cover-up stickers from Stationery Wonderland. We have the Let's Skip Today stickers. Let's Abracadabra Today away. We have There Go My Plans for today. Flushing them down the toilet. We have Let's Forget About Today and Let's Pretend Pretend Today Never Happened. Unfortunately, they are too um, wide to fit in here, so in those uh, sleeves so that's why they are living in the back all right this is part of my collection and now i am showing you those two albums so first this is my everyday or uh, my seasonal sticker album where i pull out kids um stickers like those deco stickers I currently want to use that are matching for the season. I have some uh, some functional stickers I want to, I'm using weekly. Uh, so those live in here. And then we have also some kits back here. So those are the kits I pull out um, for the upcoming few weeks. Um, so yeah, I have them ready whenever I, I'm ready to plan and I can take this little album with me wherever I want to plan so I have everything together, you know, so I don't have to grab those big chunky albums. We have um, more kids from Stationery Wonderland, Silent Beauty Plans, Raspberry Designs, Studio Kate, we have Stashy Wonderland again, Raspberry Designs. This is from Be Happy Plants and this is a Bujo kit, but I would love to use this in my cousin as well. This is from Harriet Red Designs, some full boxes, Aladdin full boxes, and I have some leftover boxes here, so I thought I could use this in my cousin as well. I love Aladdin, it's my one of my favorite Disney movies. We have the planning diary and this is the PP Weeks kit, which you can also use in a cousin. Christina Jena Art and Design stickers and that's currently it. So, there's more. <laughs> Wait for it, there's more. So, those stickers, these ones have been are all part of the July uh, haul, so you've already seen them. This is from Paper K, also super cute, right? Like a white kit. So, what I was would like to do now is sorting out all my cousin stickers and put them in this gorgeous new album that I got from Josephine Bow Designs. And it's a 4x6 album. So, um, I would will probably speed through this process and put some music behind it. So, um, yeah, have fun watching this part.
Okay, so um, this is everything that's left uh, for my week's uh, stickers. Um, and I will probably go ahead and just um, give every kid um, his own sleeve. So I don't have them double-sided anymore, but I will do that later. Um, or tonight in front of the TV. And then I will go ahead and put this one also in here again. So, um, as you have probably seen, I kind of made three little piles. Um, so this is all Hobonichi cousin sized, perfectly sized, you know, specially made for this planner. And then we have the um, Happy Planner mini kit here from Knox Papers. And then I also made a little pile with um, all the other kit formats like PP Weeks and Micro Kit, One Page Kit kind of things. So I think what I will be going to do is um, I will start with those kits in this album because I... Um, for 99% I won't be getting any more of those kits um, because I found enough other shops making special kits for the Winchi Cousin. So those won't grow, but these will, so I can add those in the back, you know, of the album. So um, I will do that right now and I will speed that through again with some music for you to watch. And before I do that, I um, will be going to do these double-sided again, so that I am saving a little bit of space with a dose, um, so I have more space for the cousin kids. All right. So I just realized um, that I didn't tell you where or how I'm going to um, organize these. Well, as you can maybe tell already, I'm going to organize these kits by shop so that I have all of those together. And basically I am pretty aware of what I have in my collection. So... Um, I can go by, okay, I want a micro kit from Plus Plush Papers because I um, kind of know what I have from those shops. So that's easy for me to then go to the specific album and grab the kit. Um, with the cousin kits, um, I think I will do the same or maybe not. Because as soon as I get new kits, I won't have space. I just realized those this album is a little bit higher than the old one I have here. Because the kits fit better. Oh yeah, that's bigger. Okay, 
uh, as you can see so this is maybe a true 4x6 and this is a 5 size which is perfect because then I can finally maybe also put in the large stickers from Stationery Wonderland um, because they will fit that's awesome so as I was going to say maybe I will just go ahead and sort the stickers like I want them to or maybe I will go by season I don't know I truly don't know so those are the La Petite Paula shop kits um, which will be going in here and this album is pretty new so the sleeves are a little bit hard to open still but uh, I love it and then we have this August kit or should I just put it in with yeah let's just put it in here I have enough space to see that those there are two kits inside all right and then we have all the cousin kits so let's see I think I will go ahead and try to put those cover-up stickers in here I hope they fit. Yes, fit. Oh my gosh, I think they actually fit. <gasps> yes, they fit, but not that easy. So you have to be careful. Maybe I have to put those in the back um, or just here where it's where the foils are connected because I have a little bit more wiggle room here so I will just do that I don't care if that messes up my organization that's okay it's just um, easier then to pull them out um, and put them back in so I'm pretty sure I'm out of frame now but oh yeah that's that's okay they're a little bit too high like you can see here but they fit sideways which is oh, gorgeous love it love it love it love it okay this is working out perfectly exactly how i pictured it in my hand and it's always oh, nice when the plan when it goes according to plan and actually i could also put those collection kits in here then because they are no longer too big for the sleeves oh, that's gorgeous perfect and they won't bend so i have a few sleeves here in the back and i will fill those with the collection kits um yes i will do that later so let's just go ahead i will sort through the kits and then we will put those inside of the sleeves Okay, so I'm uh, confused again. So what what is what was I going to do with the kits? Um, I think I will just make some uh, shop piles and then decide later if I'm going by shop or if I'm going by theme maybe. But by theme is a little bit more confusing. And I will go double sided. I just decided to go double sided. That's okay, and it makes it a little bit more sturdy. So I will just sort them by shop now for now. Okay. So these kits here are some opening chick cousin daily kits and I will just put them in the front of or right after the other kit sizes to have them easily accessible and I don't have a lot of these so that makes sense or I will just go ahead and put them in the back. Maybe I will put them in the back.
All right, so I am almost done. I just have to sort these ones in. Um, I will put, I already put this one out because this will be the uh, first week of August, which I realized I already planned out. Um, because I have a matching monthly kit, which I will be using for August. Um, and I wanted to use this in first week of August, but instead of that, I will be going to use it this week. So this will be used right now and then we still have those kits here left so we have the book one coffee and this one so i will either put those with the weekly kit or just like i said in the back and i still have space as you if you as you can see oh, as you saw sorry <laughs> um and I already left some space for um, the Stationery Wonderland sub kits that I will be getting until the end of the year. So I just left those sleeves empty until December. And then I also left some open spots for my next Lapidy Polo Shop order that is coming with three more kits so that's that um i was going to put those in here i will just put these ones in the back and then i will start with the daily kits here like so All right, and then we have some more kits here that I can use in my daily pages, which I haven't even started. So, and then we can put these ones right in the back, maybe. I have more, but I have to gather them from other places, All right? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm really happy with that so far. We have this huge album. We have this one and then I have two more. So those are all the week's kits and this is Hobonichi Cousin and stickers I can use in a cousin. That's perfect and I will just put this one in here okay so then i can go through this album here collect the stickers i want to use for a month and transfer them so i have that already planned out i like to do that so according to the plans or events that are happening um, i can just pull my stickers so yeah, I think that's it for this video now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little um, collection and also organization uh, video. And I will be soon, soon be back with maybe a two-part video of my huge character and icon sticker binder. Um, I'm very excited about that video, but this will be very, very long and very hard to film because it's a huge ass binder. <laughs> But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed and um, I don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out all the links in the info down below and also my um, PR code for Florina Papery. And I will see you next time. Bye!